see and playing in the band. And the band took off, so I went with it, you know, and, and uh, at least they guaranteed if I was 20 quid a week, so it seemed worth having a go. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live like a rock star? Well, today we're taking a look into the life of one of the most enigmatic and private members of one of the greatest rock bands of all time. Join us as we delve into the fascinating lifestyle of Queen's very own bassist and songwriter, John Deacon. John Richard Deacon, born on August 19, 1951 and standing at 1.8 meters, is a retired English musician. John Deacon is a multi-instrumentalist who's most widely recognized as the bass player for the British band Queen. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Queen in 2001 and into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2003. So I joined it. I used to keep very out of it, really, in a way. I, and the three of them used to argue like mad all the time. And I just used to, you know, and I said, God, Joe, why don't you join us? Now let's take a look at his favorite hobbies. He wears designer clothes that cost thousands of dollars. He's the only Queen member not to sing lead vocals on any Queen track. He assembled Brian May's mini guitar amplifier out of electronic junk in an old speaker box. The device was dubbed the Deaky Amp and became part of May's characteristic guitar sound. He's a keen gardener who loves spending time outdoors. He loves watching science fiction movies. His favorite food is cheese on toast and his favorite drink is milk. Super Freak is John Deacon's favorite song. Be the main songwriters. Uh, they used to write individually, though, most of the time. And then Roger wrote one, really. Um, I think he wrote one on the first album. Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. John's married to Veronica Tetzlaff. The pair got married on January 18, 1975, and they have six children together. He wrote the Queen song, You're My Best Friend, in tribute to his wife, Veronica. John and his wife, Veronica, have six children, Michael, Robert, Laura, Joshua, Luke, and Cameron. He was born to Arthur Henry and Lillian Molly Deacon. His father worked at the Norwich Union Insurance Company. Had lots of other ideas on behalf of the, um, the overall image of the band and, and, and how to actually, you know, to be a successful rock band. With that being said, let's discuss how he earns money. When it comes to the rock music industry, there are a few names as legendary as Queen's own John Deacon. While he may have been the quietest member of the band, his financial success speaks volumes. One of the ways in which Deacon has earned his fortune is through his own company, Goldfinch Productions. The production house has been responsible for creating some of the most iconic music videos and documentaries in the industry, earning Deacon millions of dollars. However, it's not just his production company that's raking in the big bucks. Deacon has also made a considerable amount of money through live concerts and brand endorsement deals. His business acumen has allowed him to make savvy investments in various business ventures, further adding to his wealth. But perhaps the most impressive aspect of Deacon's financial success is his earnings from Queen's albums. In 1973, the release of Queen's self-titled album earned Deacon a staggering $620,000. The following year, his earnings from albums included Sheer Heart Attack and Queen 2 exceeded $1.5 million. By 1975 and 1976, he had made over $4.8 million from his various albums. He has a net worth of $170 million. Ever wanted to know where he lives? Well, let's find out. As one of the most private members of Queen, it's no surprise that John Deacon has chosen to live a life of seclusion since his retirement. While other members of the band have continued to make headlines with their various projects and public appearances, Deacon has instead opted for a quieter existence. Currently residing in his home in the charming neighborhood of Putney in Southwest London, Deacon has remained steadfast in his decision to stay in one place. His reason for doing so is a noble one. He never wanted to disrupt the schooling of his children. Deacon's house in Putney is a testament to his understated yet luxurious taste. A five-bedroom, four-bathroom property boasts a swimming pool, providing the perfect retreat for the music legend and his family. Despite the success and wealth he's accumulated over the years, Deacon has remained humble and down-to-earth, choosing to prioritize his family's well-being above all else. 
Now let's see what type of cars he drives. You'll find the following vehicles in his garage. A Porsche SUV, A 1978 Aston Martin V8 Vantage Coupe. A Vespa Scooter. an Audi R8, a Ferrari, A Mustang Shelby. The Rolls Royce. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. It's hard to get the full picture of someone's lifestyle without seeing how they got there. So where did it all begin? He attended Linden Junior School in Leicester, Gartry High School. Deacon took an interest in electronics at an early age, reading magazines on the subject and building small devices. He studied well at Beauchamp Grammar School in Odeby and achieved eight GCE O-level and three A-level passes, all at grade A. He particularly enjoyed soul music. In 1965, at the age of 14, Deacon formed a school band, The Opposition. The band would go through many lineups and name changes, with Deacon eventually leaving the band altogether in 1969 to pursue studies in electronics at Chelsea College in London. In late 1970, he formed his own band, Deacon, that gave only one live performance at the college. In early 1971, he was introduced to Roger Taylor and Brian May, members of a newly formed band, Queen, at a disco. In June 1971, John Deacon played his first show with Queen at the College of Estate Management in Kensington. They released their first album on July 13, 1973. On November 8, 1974, the band released their third studio album, Sheer Heart Attack, and with it, Deacon debuted as a songwriter. From 1975, Deacon began to compose regularly, becoming well-known for writing Spread Your Wings for their 1977 album, News of the World. However, he got his first worldwide hits when in 1980 he wrote Another One Bites the Dust and Need Your Lovin' Tonight for Queen's eighth album, The Game. From the mid-1980s, concurrently with playing for Queen, he also started playing for other bands, such as SAS. He officially retired from public life after Freddie Mercury's death in 1991, but continued to perform sporadically till 1997. Deacon has stayed out of the public eye since retiring. He chose not to be present at Queen's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it, but don't stop here, there's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.